What got the Wright brothers off the ground? The Wright brothers are credited by many for being the fathers of aviation. That's not true. I was gliding in 1891. Oh, he was gliding. We were the first in powered flight. Well, I built a steam engine aircraft. So did I. Oh, but it immediately crashed. So did mine. Well, the Wright brothers were the first to successfully achieve powered and controlled human flight. Check it out. That's me there. Now that's flying. What really interests me as a materials engineer is what gave them the power to get off the ground. They needed something lightweight and they found the answer with aluminum. The 16 horsepower aluminum block internal combustion engine was the very first aluminum engine ever built. It was custom built for them by the shop mechanic Charlie Taylor. No one ever remembers me. This is one of Wright Brothers' original aluminum engine. It is on display here at the Engineers Club of Dayton, where Orville Wright was once a member. The Wright Brothers painted the engine black so their competitors would not know they were made of aluminum. The aluminum engine was lighter per horsepower than the best engines in the world at that time made by Carl Benz. Prior to the late 1800s, aluminum was quite rare and pure aluminum was almost as valuable as gold. But in 1886, the process of extracting aluminum from ore using electrolysis was invented. That, that was me. me! Charles Hall, who like the Wright brothers was from Ohio, went on to start the aluminum production company that would eventually become Alcoa. Around the same time, the invention of the Charles Brush Dynamo helped bring power to industry. This made aluminum manufacturing practical. Hey, I'm from Ohio too. Well, well how, how about, about that? that? So, electricity begot aluminum, aluminum begot a lightweight engine, and the lightweight engine begot aviation by getting the Wright brothers off the ground. What a historical junction of four important technologies and it all happened here in Ohio.